What's going on guys? So uh, my brother's around. We're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, we've got his 2020. Yep. Yep. MT07. Um, he's bought it as a lamb spike and he's kind of over mm -hmm. the lamb's power. So we're going to put some parts on it to de-restrict it. You've already done the throttle de-restriction, correct? Uh, yes. Yep. So throttle re de restrictions already done, but we're going to put some other parts on it and hopefully get it into a little bit more of a fun bike. So the parts we're going to be putting on today are these, which... What are they, Mark? We've got a DNA high flow air filter. Yep. We've got the high flow air filter lid. MT07 HO funnels for the air intake as well. And FT ECU flash tune kit. Cool. So, whoop. Good thing they're cheap. <laughs> um, so, I have no idea how to do this. You have no idea how to do this. We're going to make it up as we go, and you guys can point and laugh. We are starting off simple. Mark's already removed the pinion seat, and we're just taking the main seat out of the way now. So this is interesting. This is the top of the air box. We've got it off. Um, you can see this is where all the air is coming through into the air box. Um, compared to our new high flow option that uh, Mark has purchased, look at the difference in that. So it's good to know that these parts that he's wasted all his money on are actually going to hopefully do something looking at this. Right, and this uh, DNA brand is it? Yep. Yep, matching filter has got same big opening in the top and we're also going from a paper filter which paper is quite restrictive to airflow to a cloth one a lot like a K&N I'm assuming DNA is just another brand just like K&N but um, yeah I am pleasantly surprised and genuinely curious as to how much difference that bigger hole is going to make between that and this but obviously we're not going to tell because we're also putting a computer in it at the same time so everything's going to be all changed. All right, so uh, I forgot to hit record when I put the camera back on the tripod, so you missed. We pulled this whole battery box out. It was a lot of extra work to unbolt this, to move it out of the way, to try and get enough room for this to come back so it could come out. Um, it doesn't. It's not enough room. We wasted a bunch of time. Um, did some Google research quickly, and apparently... You have to pull apart all the throttle bodies and everything else to be able to get this out. And the way most people do it is just cut it in half and put pod filters straight on the throttle body. Because we're not doing that, um, we are opting not to go with those tubes. Yeah. It's a lot of work for not much increase. So if you're still sick of the power, we'll cut the airbox in half and put pod filters on it. Just a bit of an easier way to go about it. Yeah. Um, so defeated... We're just going to put it back together. Half of this stuff didn't actually have to come apart, um, but it is. So it is what it is. Okay, so I figured out what the problem was. My phone memory was completely full, so every time I hit record, it recorded for 20 seconds and then stopped. So unfortunately, all the footage of 
pulling the bike apart, the extra stuff we didn't have to do, and then putting back together most of the extra stuff we didn't have to do is gone. So maybe it's good news because you guys don't have to sit through and watch that. So we didn't show this bit, but the little bit for the ECU, you pop out some plugs and push the pins into the actual ECU connector. This is just running behind here, which will obviously be hidden once the fairing goes back on. And we've just got the plug down in here, so you'll have to take the seat off and then you can plug a laptop into it from there. uploading the de-restricted file to the ECU. Um, this was really complicated and I'm not a fan, um, but hopefully the bike is fast enough to make all this work worth it. After riding the ECU, we can now finally uh, extract a fuel map that we stole off another website that is for this airbox and this air filter with this exhaust and this setup um, and we've just successfully put that into the ECU so this should be the end of this job as long as the bike starts and rides hopefully all right first start up this is either going to work or it isn't that's a good sign that's a good first sign we fuck around with the ECU and the bike still starts uh, we just got back from our first test ride on the bike. Um, I wish I had a GoPro so that I could actually film some of the riding, but it's kind of getting late tonight, so we just took it for a quick buzz around town. But is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's awesome. Total difference. Yeah, totally different bike. Um, I gave it a quick test ride first before he rode it, and it felt completely different to me. You ride it every day, so to you... Night and day. You couldn't wipe the smile off his face when we pulled up at the lights. Um, yeah, if you have an MT-07, definitely don't keep them restricted. They are way more fun to be restricted. Way more fun.